Hello and welcome to this week's security management course. I'm Professor Wool and today we're going to be talking about security considerations in modern data centers. So modern data centers are going virtual and there is a big trend in taking your conventional data center and virtualizing it using private cloud technology. So let's take a look at how that is all organized. Instead of a big data center, you have a big box running your virtualized private cloud. And inside that private cloud, you have multiple virtual machines. They're all supported by a hypervisor technology that implements the networking uh, between them. And the hypervisor is also connected to the physical infrastructure on the outside. And it's typically protected by a firewall that segregates the whole private cloud from other parts of your network. What is uh, uh, the property of such a design? Well, there is no filtering going on inside the virtualized private cloud. Traffic between the different VMs is completely uh, unfiltered and all the filtering is on the outside. And this is all fine if, you, if your workloads on these different VMs share the same security requirements, if they all access data with the same sensitivity level. What happens if you want to run different workloads inside the one private cloud data center? You want to segregate these VMs from each other, mapping the uh, VMs to particular security zones. Well, how would you be able to do that from a technology point of view? Well, right now you really have two types of options. You could have a hypervisor level firewall placed in here inside the hypervisor and if you do that all traffic between VMs inside the private cloud has to go through the hypervisor which means it has to go through the hypervisor firewall and that's your point where you can control and filter the traffic and set the policy. So that's one option. The other option is to have per host firewalls, one inside every VM, like this, and then each one of these host-based firewalls inside the VMs really protect its own VM and separates it, it from all the other VMs and from whatever is on the outside. And there are technologies that let you uh, instrument your, your private cloud either using host-based firewalls or using hypervisor level firewalls or you could even have both. Uh, and you could have points in this infrastructure where you can instrument policy and make sure that only the traffic that you want to allow gets through. Now where are the challenges in this structure? The challenges in managing this Remember now you want, you want to allow traffic from a particular VM to some client of, that needs access to it that is somewhere in your intranet. To allow that kind of traffic you need to set policy on the physical firewall on the outside and then also on the hypervisor level firewall or on the host based firewall or on both. And all of these have to be configured consistently so that the traffic can get from where it needs to come from to the VM that you're interested in and back without being blocked by any of the filtering devices along the wall. And the trouble is that the, cons the traditional firewall, the hypervisor level firewall and the host based firewall typically use different technologies. Sometimes they come from different vendors and it becomes difficult to manage. What you really want to strive for is a technology, a management technology where you could have a single pane of glass that is able to configure these host-based firewalls and or the hypervisor level firewalls and also the physical traditional firewalls from the same management console so that when you need to instrument a change that allows traffic from a particular VM to one of its clients, you can do so with a single action on the management console and it will automatically configure all the various technologies and all different platforms for you rather than go and make individual changes to each of these components using its own management platforms and own capabilities. So this is where you really want to go to if 
you want to segregate your virtual private cloud to run workloads of different security requirements. Thank you for your attention.